Hey guys, welcome back. This video is kind of a um, substitute or an addition, I should say, not a substitute, but an addition. Um, as you all know that I use this program here and it's OSF mount. And of course I've been dealing with this GUI interface, right? Well, guess what? It actually, the program does have a command line interface. So if you want an example, say open this up and you could just type in uh, OSF mount and it should give you all of this. <laughs> like a dummy, I didn't realize that this was even a part of it. And why I didn't do it is because of the darn uh, UAC that every time you ran this program, every time you ran that, if you guys remember in any part of my video, if you've ever watched it, anytime I go to run this, the screen blacks out. And that's because it's throwing a pop-up going, hey, here's the UASC, do you, do you accept this or not? Well, for this video, I've disabled the UAC. But that doesn't prevent what I'm trying to explain here. So you don't have to disable the UAC. I still recommend you keeping it going. I only did that for this video. So if you get a pop-up when you run this, uh, accept it. So with that said, I'm going to share how this works. So let's say now I've included an unmount in case something goes wrong, in case uh, the, the, the drive does not unmount. So let's say we go to number three. All right. Now we compile. And of course, we, we go through everything here like it's normally and we see our EFI. And now normally we would sit there and right click. We'd cut. We'd go through here, go the rigmarole of, of doing all that. Well, we don't have to now because now we have this batch file. Now what it does is it loads, or it runs this with these command line switches and it's pointing to the drive.htd file here using this command, okay? We're telling it, hey, this is going to be a file that we're loading and of course this is the file. This is talking about that we're actually loading this as a drive. Um, this command, the dash s, says this is actually a 40 meg. And when you run this by itself in prompt, you can actually see what the, the, these switches do. I would suggest you looking it up. This means, hey, that we can read and write to it. And we're telling it, hey, go to the F drive. Now, I chose F because on my computer, F is not being used for anything. So I chose F. And as you can see, F is all here. Now, how this bat file works is it sets it up loads the drive, we copy, or in this case, move the, 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 the file that we just created, which is this. We move that to where it's supposed to go. We wait as a timeout, because if this is not here and you run this to, um, to unmount this, that's what this command here is to unmount that. If you run this too soon, then what happens is it goes um, access denied. So if you come across this where it says access denied, you might actually have to raise this timeout number to say a two or maybe even a three, okay? So that's kind of important. So I'm gonna just put that back at one because on my computer, it should work on, on just simply using a one. So now that we've got this compiled with this bad file, we just simply double click it and voila. Now, it didn't say access denied, which means it worked. Okay, and we get this message of one file moved after running the move command. So this works. And we didn't get any access denied here either. So there's three sections, this, the move, the timeout, and then of course, this, then, yeah, so I guess four sections. And then, and then this unmounts it and then we're done. So let's run that just to uh, see if that actually worked. So this is the, and, and I did this for both, the my space uh, invaders and for my tuts. So I've, I, I've got them both. So we run the tuts. This is tutorial three. So that means that we should have color, text, and keyboard. Yep, hit any key and voila. Okay, so just to show how easy this is, Let's backspace. Let's go to number 12, our normal one. We're going to compile that. Now, in this one, 
<clears throat> this batch file, I added an extra, which is copy the text file. Because we're not just moving the FE, we're also copying. You don't want to move the text file, OK? But that way, if you update the text file, which we could simply just double click the message, change, uh, say, a, the S to, say, a D, all right? And now you're going to actually see the changes reflected. So I'm going to delete this one. Uh, and recompile. I mean, I shouldn't have had to do that, but you know. Okay, so now double click that. Now, see the access denied? It's because it went by way too fast. Now, the reason it does this is because if you don't delay long enough, then these two command, these move commands, the Windows has not caught up to the caching system. So that's why you get access denied. So instead of running this a second time, I have included this. And unfortunately, it, uh, yeah, that didn't work. I don't know why. So when this happens, then you just simply open this program up and dismount. You'll say everything lost, and then you can go back in here and try this again, but this time raise this. Now I'm going to raise it to a three because apparently copying that file did, did not work for me this time. So we go in here, it does this thing, and we do, go in here, waits for it, and voila, that fixed the problem. So now I can actually run it and everything will be just fine. Now, you'll notice it's still here, but it's inaccessible. See, it still runs, because if it was still in there, it, this wouldn't even be in existence. So closing that, closing that, and if I was to actually click on that, you'll get this message, because for some weird reason, Windows does not clear fast enough. So if you close this and then go back into it, it disappears. All right, so just keep that in mind. So yeah, this is a much faster way um, to copy everything over. Now you could combine both the mount drive and this, and then if something goes wrong with the flushing, you could just always unmount it here and start over. I didn't combine them on purpose because some of you out there may not want to use this. So that's why you may want to do this, but not this. Now, it is not included in my make file. I did not include this um, on purpose. Uh, if you want to add it to that, that you know, that's your call. But at least now you know that this is possible. All right, guy? So yeah, I hope this helps. And um, it is on my GitHub. So it's already updated, all that good jazz, go to here. And um, yeah, you'll, you'll see the message added OSF mount command line bat files. When you go in here, you'll notice I've done this to all of them. Um, remember though, again, that in here, uh, this is set to one. You may still have to set that to a three. But yeah, so see you on the next video. I don't know, again, I don't know when I will have a next video out because I, again, I am moving in the real world here. So yeah. Uh, Hopefully the new place will be better than where I'm at. <laughs> I'm tired of roaches. <clears throat> Anyhow, catch you guys later.